Can you get a discount on camping? Hey y'all. So today you will find us camping. At home. That stinks. But we're between trips, so we thought this would be a good opportunity to share with you all how we camp as... Cheaply as possible. Yeah. Because so camping nowadays is getting very expensive. It can be. It's still cheaper than a hotel. Sometimes. Most of the time. You but can, when you, you can say some of those high dollar ones. Well, and you factor in what you're paying for your camper, you have to count that too. But so anyway, um, camping as cheaply as possible is the way we try to roll. Um, we do splurge sometimes and go to some of the resorts and more expensive places. There's a lot of places called resorts that aren't, aren't resorts. resorts. But so probably our number one, and we've been members of Thousand Trails for a long time, um, is Thousand Trails. And I won't say it's a perfect system. Not at all. I will say probably for the money, in my opinion, it's one of the best deals out there. Um, it's, the I, best for, it's the best bang for your buck that yeah. we've seen over the last 10 years, 12 years we've been in it. Yeah, we've been there for a while. And and here's one of the things. So there's lots of different memberships with Thousand Trails, and I won't try to get into all the details about all of them. Um, you can spend a few hundred dollars. You can spend a few thousand dollars. It really just depends on what's best for you. But what I do like about Thousand Trails is you can kind of try it on, see if you like it. So I, and most, again, most camp, camper dealerships now are giving away thousand trail memberships yeah a lot a of times when you buy a camper be it new or used the um the dealership will give you a zone pass which is what i'm talking about so a zone pass is kind of your way to try it waters. out see if you like it and it's good for a year so you have a year to try it and if you decide you like it and you want to renew you can do it for another year um if you decide that you really like it and you want to buy in one of the bigger memberships you can of course do that but so I believe, and I don't work for Thousand Trails, so um, a zone pass typically is $615 for a year. Um, don't looked, quote us on every one of these numbers because things well, go no. up and down. And a so, lot, it's, so it's six fifteen dollars for one zone and then $65 for each additional zone that you might want to add. So the U.S. is split into four zone, five, five zones. zones. Northeast, Southeast, Northwest, southwest and, and midwest. midwest i think like that ohio area um there's a big hole in the middle just right in the middle of the country there's a big gap where there's there's no thousand trails parks however so you buy the one zone for 615 whichever one you think would be the best one for you and then you can add additional zones for 65 dollars a piece but i looked just yesterday on the website to book a reservation and the special right now i think was 499 for a zone so Four ninety nine for almost unlimited camping. Yeah, so it's unlimited. I think the rule is you have to, if you stay for 14 days with a zone pass, you have to be out for seven. So still, you could get a lot of camping in for $500. So basically 21 days a month. Yeah, and if you play it right, I think that's only if you stay over four days. So if you stayed three, you could go straight to another park for three days. Anyway, we could get tied up in all the details. We might it, do another video on that later. Yeah, it, it, it can get really complicated. So let's just say my favorite part about Thousand Trails is that you can kind of try it on for size for a year and see if it's right for you. Check out the parks you think you would be going to more frequently. And if you like them and you think it's a great deal, then you can sign up again add a zone or even sign up for one of the bigger memberships so we are thousand trails members we have one of the bigger memberships so we camp a lot and it ends up costing us very little if you break it down per night to stay and it varies year to year depending on how many nights you use but we can kind of bounce park to park so that is number one on our membership um, circuit another membership that we have is passport america which is, I believe right now, $44 for one year. And I think it's like 300 and, I did write it down, 399 For a lifetime membership. For a lifetime membership. But it's on sale right now for 349 So again, um, Passport America is not, I want to say it's not as confusing as Thousand Trails. <laughs> It's they have not a lot always, of blackout dates. It's not always cut and dry either. So what you get with Passport America is up to 50% off. Sometimes it's like if you stay four days, you get two days at half price. Some some campgrounds, it's you get a discount on weekdays and full price on weekends. They kind of vary, but there's um, a lot of rules you need to read every one of them when you before you 
decided to go yeah. to that campground. Um, but so we signed up. I don't know. We didn't sign up for the lifetime, but we didn't have an annual. We did like a two or three year thing at one of the camping shows. We signed up for it. And when we made our trek last year from Virginia over to Arizona, um, we stayed at Thousand Trail Parks all the way to the very end. But when we got to... Couldn't make it all the way. Yeah, we couldn't quite make it. So we had, we needed a stop like New Mexico area. And so I did find a Passport America... I don't know that it was like a great it's not campground. A it wasn't a resort, that's for but sure. But it was right off the interstate. It was perfect. It was a pull-through site. There was a restaurant right there we could nice walk to. Quiet. So it was quiet. It, there was nothing to do. It was basically a parking lot, so to speak. And But it was full hookup. So anyhow, it cost me 30 bucks. So from Virginia to Arizona, I think I, we had six different stops. Maybe the only one that cost me anything was that one for 30 bucks with a Passport America discount. So with our Thousand Trails and our Passport America, we made it from Virginia to Arizona, to Arizona and it cost bucks. us 30 bucks in stays, not gas and fuel and but, all that. Yeah, just overnight stays. So that, that worked out well. On the way home, we took a different route because we stopped off to visit some friends in Texas and we were headed to Tampa. So we took the lower route through like, Alabama, Louisiana, and... The snowier route in Texas. Yeah. In January. It did snow that year, too. Um, but I found a state park in Alabama that we stayed at, and the deal there for Passport America was half price. So in Virginia... Yeah, in Virginia, state parks don't have full hookup. There's no sewer in, in state parks in Virginia, and so that's kind of what we're used to, but this was a state park in Alabama... Full hookup. The fellow was so nice. He booked me a site because I told him we were coming from Arizona, headed across. He booked me a site right across from the laundry facility because he said, I thought you might be doing laundry since you're going to be on the road. And with my Passport America half price, it was $9. Nine whole dollars. So we stayed You can't for, do anything for I can't even eat dinner no, for $9. No, you can't do McDonald's for, for $9. So we spent $18 to spend two nights with our Passport America discount. So again, that's probably pretty close maybe to what a thousand trails night actually costs us if we break it down i think we're down to five or six dollars a night for thousand trails if you unit every single day but you know anyway so passport america again if before you sign up go to their website you can see like where their parks are and kind of get a feel for it um it's a great filler for us with thousand trails if we're headed across and there's not thousand trails in a certain state i can usually find a passport america it's not free but I usually get a pretty good discount on a day or two, especially if it's midweek. So not something you have to have. It's just something that we have. And, um, you know, if you get a couple of half price nights, it pays for itself for $44 for a year. That's, I think they say four or five nights it pays for. It I mean, $44 for the year, That that's cheaper cheap. than a lot of one night stays at a campground. So That's, that's cheaper you know. than her, never mind, her cup of coffee right there. I didn't want to bring them who it was, but. Anyway, so we, we won't go there. Um. <laughs> Another one that is an annual, like you sign up for annually, is KOA has their um, value, value card. card. I can't remember what it's called. Their value card. And sometimes we sign up for it, sometimes we don't. Just um, depends if we're staying at KOA for that time, because a lot of times when you, you stay there, for the $33 for the year, you get 10% off. If you stay a couple sometimes nights... Sometimes it pays for yeah, itself. And, and they'll tell you, you know, if you get the, uh, the value card... It'll pay for itself in three or four nights. So do you want to save a little bit of money since you're staying a week in a KOA? Which we all know KOAs, KOAs are not, not the cheapest, cheap. cheapest guy in but town. But you know what you're getting when you get there on yeah. most of the KOAs. KOAs so. a KOA. Um, so if we're planning, like in the year, I think our I think our membership like renews in August or something. But if we're planning to do some trips where we're staying with friends or we're meeting friends to camp and they want to go to a KOA, so I know I'm going to be staying there at a KOA multiple times, I'll go ahead and renew my membership. If we don't have any trips planned in the foreseeable future, then I might let it run out because you can always sign up. You know, when you make a reservation, it'll always ask you, do you have a card? And if you don't, do you want to buy one then? And it's 33 bucks. So not, I mean, we don't do a lot of KOAs. Um, we try to stay away from it because we're trying to, we're, we're trying to keep trying our to budgets cheap, down. So I try to stay at Thousand Trails when I can. Because we, we don't stay at the campground all day long. Most of the time well, we, we stayed, we stayed at KOA Maybe four times last year. Yeah, one time, um, we don't, once with some friends. It doesn't matter what so. the campground looks like for us because we're always out sightseeing. We're always going somewhere. So we just need a place to park the camper that's safe, clean. That's and, the thing. Safe and easy to get in and out of. And I don't want to pay $100 a night. So I'm a little cheap I'm not when staying it comes to that. No. Um, so the KOA value card is, again, something you can get. You don't have to. And you're not tied in for like a big long contract. That is the thing with Thousand Trails. If you get more than a zone pass, you you know, it's a, it's a big 
membership that you've bought and then with a big membership there's annual dues so koa and passport america are both cards that you could do for one year and then not renew and then sign up again for another year there's no so you know, for all 77 dollars a year you have passport america and you have the koa card that you get 10 percent off so that's saving you a little bit of money right there right and so the last one that i want to mention is good sam's Good Sam's can be kind of complicated. Um, I guess it's not complicated, but there's a lot. So I'm going to have to look at my notes because I can't remember everything you get with Good Sam's. I can tell you this. For one year membership, it's $29. If you sign up for two years, it's $50. And three years, it's $79. And one thing for sure that you get with your Good Sam's membership is 10% off at any Good Sam's campground. And you can go to their website and find out where all their campgrounds are. Uh, one of the things you get with your membership is online trip planning. So you can go to GoodSams.com and you can kind of plot out your trip. Um, but we'll use something else. We'll go through all that later. I do use something else. But you can use that. And um, you can, you know, put your route in there and then you can circle like the areas you're wanting to stop and see which good, where the Good Sam's campgrounds are and it'll give you the rating based on the Good Sam's rating. So it's like cleanliness... It's, it's three different things. I don't know. There's three different things they rate it on, but cleanliness is one of them. So I always look for that. And you get 10% off. Um, some other discounts that you get. So you get that discount. You get the free online trip planning. You get discounts at participating pilot and flying J stations. So you get... Up to eight, eight cents off a gallon. Five cents a gallon off for, for gas. And eight cents a gallon. Eight cents for, for diesel. diesel. So that's not a bad deal. Um... Depending on how much fuel you use, that alone could that pay, could for, pay your, for you. Because we, for we your drove membership. a lot of miles the last couple of years, yeah. which would have probably so, paid for our, our, our membership on there. Um, it also gets you 10% off, or maybe not even 10% off, up to 10% off at Camping World, Gander Outdoors, and Overlanders, Over Overtons, my bad, Overtons. Um, and then you also get free shipping on orders over $49 through Camping World Gander Mountain. Which is a good thing because whenever we're out of town, we always have to go to a Camping World to pick up something yeah, quick. Yeah, you know. We I'm, always got to get that one little piece gonna... of something that I can't buy from Amazon yeah. or I need to go soon. If you I need, need it now it. and it's camping related, you know. That's the one good thing we really like about Camping World. That's the one thing I like about Camping World and with my good Sam's, I usually get a discount, so that's great. Um, they also offer free RV or boat dump station at Camping World with your discount. And, and again, not at every Camping World, but Camping World and the Gander locations. And 15, 15% discount on propane at Camping World and Gander RV. So it's a lot of different discounts, possible discounts, free shipping, that kind of thing. Um, free shipping could save Plus 10% at the campgrounds. So I usually... Um, Renew my good Sam's. I think last time I went ahead and did it for three years, so I didn't have to think about it for a while. And then I can just use it at any campground. And, and what I will do is, because some campgrounds participate in all these things. So when I call to make my reservation, I will ask if they take Passport America and if they do good Sam's. And they'll usually be really good about telling you, Which we take you both, deal? and it's going to be cheaper if you use a Passport America, or it'll be cheaper if you do your good Sam. And it just it depends on if you're staying during the week, the weekend, whatever. Um, so those are two that neither one is terribly expensive, but we have them both, and I'm not afraid to ask which one's going to save me the most money. So besides Thousand Trails, <laughs> for about $150 a year, you can have good Sam's, Passport America, and a KOA, the value card on there, and you can save a lot of money. Well, yeah, Without and if you do good Sam's for, for three years at eighty dollars, there it's that, that was it. That was for roughly three years, hundred. It's roughly a hundred bucks for yeah. all three of them, um, and then Passport America again has the lifetime offer. So, the good thing about any of these is any of them you could, any of them you can do for one year, and if you like it, then of course with Passport America you could sign up lifetime. Good Sam's you can sign up two or three years. Thousand Trails you can up from just a um, a zone pass to one of the bigger memberships if you find that you use that. So. All of these are discount or reward programs that we participate in. Um, there are a lot more other ones out there. We haven't we haven't done them all. You, you still have never, you still have like there's coast to coast, you know, coast to coast. You still have Harvest Host. You still have 
Yeah, we're looking those, into harvest hosting. We haven't host. done harvest hosting yet. We keep talking about it, and I think that goes up like April, March or April. So we need to decide if we're going to do that to go ahead and get it. So is anybody using Harvest Host? What do you guys think about it? Let us know down at the bottom. Should yeah, we sign up for that? Yeah, give me some comments. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not a big boondocker yet, but we're going to try it. I feel like for one night we could do night. it. Um, and we have a generator. And what I've read online is that at a lot of the places you can run your generator all night. Some of them even have power. It's different place to place. So I'm kind of intrigued and I feel like it would be a good deal. I just haven't made the jump yet but i think i have till the end of march maybe to decide if we're going to do it you can still do it after that but i want to get the discounted price and it goes the price goes up because i'm cheap like that so so let if us know you if you have got, harvest host comment below and let me know if, if you have any other it, your other it. memberships that you're using that we might need to look up so we can travel around yeah. the world around, around the country without paying a lot of money let us know below uh because we've done thousand trails forever so we're just now venturing out to these other things like passport americas and the koa so if there's anything else out there we're missing please let us know we'll check into it um we will put a link to all of these things at the bottom so you can find them we do have a person that does our thousand trails memberships we'll put his name and number down so if you're interested in getting something from him yeah we met them at the um, park it's a really nice couple so um and and they're no pressure like they're salespeople. that's their job but they're not they don't bug salespeople. Um, and we already have the membership. So when I call, like, they're not really getting anything out of me, but they're always very eager to answer questions. If they don't know, they will call and get answers if I have a question about my membership because I've had it for a while. It's not a new membership. Um, Jim and Brandy were no, they're always really good that either they know the answer or they will call and find out for me and get right back with me. So if you're looking for somebody to ask about Thousand Trails, on a side note, if you're looking for somebody to ask about Thousand Trails, you have questions, you can put them below and I'm happy to answer anything I or can. Or we can call them and ask them for you. If or you I'll call and ask them or, um, you know, you can contact them directly and they are a no pressure thing. So like they will answer your questions and help you in any way they can. And if you don't buy, you don't buy. But um, they're super great people. And I don't really have any people at any of the other at any of the other discount cards we use i wish i did but again if you have questions with them post them below happy to answer anything i can now we're hoping you're getting some value out of all these it's a lot of research to try to figure out this stuff to help everybody out so um because we're all in it together we're all here we're all our beers <laughs> we all want to help each other we all want to find a way to, to live cheaper so like i said before anything else you know of let us know down in the bottom we would love to hear from you we would love to Maybe try something different. Try, try to get us out and cheaper. So that's all we have really for this this video. So yeah, if you it's guys a short are video this week, guys. yeah, if you guys are liking these videos, make sure you give us that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the next one when and you ring ring the, the bell so you don't miss the next episode, which will be what a Tuesday talks next week. Yeah, Tuesday talks. So if you're not watching our Tuesday talks, it looks like those are blowing up pretty good. A lot of people are liking those. We're getting a lot of comments, a lot of reactions on those. They're just, They're just quick, quick, short, to the point videos that stuff that we use that we've found that makes life easier on the road. And if there's something you guys have that you want us to try and get and look at and do a video on it, let us know that too. So until the next time you guys find us camping. Safe travels, everyone. Never wanted to end